they make voodoo. It's pretty good. You are in ghetto, you know? Free Palestine in German. Look at, look at that. Today we're in Kreuzberg, Germany, which is uh, a neighborhood in Berlin uh, where a lot of Muslims live. And you can find Muslims from uh, mostly Turkey, one third should be from Turkey, but also Pakistan, um, different countries in the Balkan Peninsula, and then some people from uh, uh, Palestine as well. So there's over half a million Muslims in Berlin alone, and a lot of them live in Kreuzberg. And you can see that a lot of things have uh, sort of changed to fit the Muslim community. I'm just excited to explore this sort of minority in a, in a big sense because they are kind of a majority in Kreuzberg and see how they live, how, how basically how the Muslims live in the West, in the modern Western world. And behind me you can see one of the biggest mosques in Berlin, Omar Mosque, and we're gonna check it out. Over here, this is where they make food, it's pretty good. Second floor at the mosque. You can see behind me we just had a slot. Because I want to show like Kreuzberg how Muslims live. Or you know, when you want to know about this mosque, I can help you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, no problem, no problem. Okay. The thing about Berlin and Kreuzberg, many people like they have ultra conservative values, like you see this woman behind me. And then there are people who are super liberal. There's neighborhoods in Berlin where you can only be gay. Salam so alaikum. I said from YouTube? Yeah, yeah. documentary of Kreuzberg Muslims. Yes, halal shop? Yes, halal shop. What's the name of the shop? Hello everybody, here. <laughs> Adil Kassab. Ah, okay. Adil Kassab. Yeah. You are in ghetto, you know? Yes, I'm trying to talk to Muslims, like how they live in Kreuzberg. Say, say, come on. Yeah. Come every day. Yes. Salam alaikum. So that was interesting, right? He said, you're in ghetto. I'm not sure. Because I can see like people delivering foods, people having good time, they ride bikes. I'm in the ghetto. So let's go. Let's see what the ghetto looks like. Our tents below that, which means there are some homeless people there. The plan is to get to the biggest mosque here. Unfortunately, I only have one uh, one day here, so that's kind of a problem. Now we're getting to the Turkish side. Let's let's see what's happening here. It's pretty big. A ton of scarves, of course. It doesn't look like a ghetto to me. seems to me that in Berlin you can be whoever you want, so you can do any sort of... It's so open that you can have any culture, uh, look at the ducks, as you want, which is cool. Internet, nice. We're getting more and more into a Muslim environment, as I can tell. This looks like Istanbul a bit. Kofte in baguette. I'm the Turkish pizza with donut flesh. It's Alice, Alice. Hopefully we'll get some food in and uh, yeah, I'll go and wait in front of some masks for people and see if some of them are willing to talk to me. 
in English, which is gonna be a challenge. We have some, I don't know what this is, Turkish pizza. It's very spicy. Hello? Oh, is it okay if I make video of the shop? No? Okay. No. This one looks okay. Let me let me check this one out. Alright. It's gonna sound strange first. Bear with me. Salam alaikum. Is it okay if I make video of the shop or no? No. no. Oh snap. People do not like to be filmed, like they really look at me like I'm some, some crazy guy Because it looks strange to be holding this thing We caught a bit of rain Behind me, the mosque, it's the only ones with minarets. It's I did my salat, it was raining a lot. And unfortunately, there's a group of kids, like Germans, who've been here uh, trying to learn about Islam. But no one wants to talk to me in English. I can film from outside, but not even people who run the mosque, or not even the young kids. Even if they know English, they're like very shy to be on camera. And I don't blame them. I mean, it is kind of weird to talk on camera like even here but I kind of feel like man am I doing something wrong I would be much more happy if I could speak to someone here about why are they Muslim or you know whatever but that seems impossible now we're gonna go to Kreuzberg again You can see this is the hood. You can see these things. Free Palestine in German. Look at look at that. Yeah, this is this is exactly what I was looking for. And here are some trans people behind me. Just saw some crazy people not letting cars getting through in exchange for some money. Uh, What happened to this guy, to this scooter? Looks like somebody took it out. It's a mix of both worlds. So on one hand you'll see ultra-liberal, on one hand ultra-conservative. Muslims living side by side. So like one shop is uh, baklava. Next to it is um, like something where people are drunk. And yeah, it's pretty normal here because I don't know. I don't know how that could work in reality but it kind of works in berlin that way it's almost 6 30 pm and we are where we started friedrichstrasse wienerstrasse whatever strasse kreuzberg and omar abun katab mosque We just had tiramisu and the big lesson I, le I have learned moving forward is that I need to have somebody from a location if I go there who will talk to me about their community and their life because the problem is 
almost no one speaks English here and if they do they don't feel confident to be on camera and talk to me about life in Kreuzberg, Kreuzberg. so therefore I didn't speak to many people and those who I talked to didn't tell me much so this was a pilot this was a trial but in the future inshallah um, whenever we do any trip and I'm going to Turkey in a, in a while again we need to have lined up some people who will work with us and show us the hood the, the, the life because otherwise it will be very difficult especially in a non-english speaking country so that's a take take um, take away I'm taking away from Kreuzberg and yeah hopefully we'll be here but uh, anyways for people who have never heard of this neighborhood it's very good it's like the most hipster neighborhood you can find and it mixes all the cultures and stuff like that and yeah if you're a Muslim I guess you can live here pretty easily because there's a lot of halal shops there's a lot of restaurants there's a lot of people who speak Arabic I'll see you next time inshallah this was Jan and uh, leave me a comment what do you want to see in the next video or what sort of location you want to go to and if you have if you live in some country or some location where there are Muslims and you can hang out with me on an island or anywhere and show me around write me an email or do something like that I'll definitely respond